the heart is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and the day that were therein. For you have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his souls unto vanity, who swung the sea for him. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be you tonight. He is our Lord, He is our God, He is our hope, He is our sustainer. Wherever you are joining me from tonight, I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate Him. Lift up your hand and give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. Give Him all the adoration. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's say, Father, for our life, for our home, for our marriage, for our business, for our career. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. 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 Lift up your hand and appreciate God tonight. Lift up your hand and give him praise. Lift up your hand and bless him. He is our Lord. He is our God. He is our hope. He is our help. He is our helper. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the praise. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. Lift up a hand and bless him. Let's appreciate him tonight. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. I want you to bless his holy name tonight. I want you to open your mouth and say, Father, for the gift of life, for myself, for my family, Father, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Father, I say thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my God. Lift up your hand and appreciate him. Let's bless his holy name. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. He is our Lord. He is a faithful God. A loving God. Let's appreciate him. Bless his holy name. Bless him tonight. I want you to open your mouth and bless his holy name. I want you to open your mouth and bless his holy name. Let's appreciate him for the past one week. Since the last uh, Fiji, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here we are again, another Friday. Bless him. Father, we give you praise. Lord, 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 we give you praise. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Our Lord, our God, we say thank you. My Lord, my God, we say thank you. We give you praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and bless him. For your family member, bless him. For your loved one, bless him. For your children, bless him. For your husband, bless him. For your wife, bless him. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my God. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. I want you to lift up your hand and decree and declare upon yourself that, Father, as I have come before your presence tonight, I will prevail. The Bible says, Moab will come to the place of prayer and it will not prevail. Moab will come to the place of prayer and will not prevail. Hear me, sir. Hear man. A man that come to the place of prayer and did not prevail, where is he going to prevail? A man that come before the Almighty God and fail. Hey, I don't know how that man is going to pass. I don't know how that man is going to survive. I don't know how that man is going to do it again in life. Moab, come to the place of prayer and did not prevail. So, Lord my God, say, as I have come before you tonight, say, I will prevail in the name of Jesus. As I have come before you in the place of prayer tonight, so, Lord my God, I will prevail. 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 Decree and declare upon yourself. You will prevail in the name of Jesus. 
decree and declare. Say I will prevail in the name of Jesus. Say I will prevail. Decree and declare. Say I will prevail. As I have come to before the Almighty God tonight. Say I will prevail. In Jesus' name we are pray. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, say as I have come tonight in the place of prayer. Say I speak to my heaven. Say, O ye heaven, open upon me in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare, let heaven open upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. Heavens of victory, heavens of testimony, heavens of wonder, heavens of divine encounter. Say, Father, let it open upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord my God, let heaven open upon me tonight. I decree, I declare, O ye my heaven, open upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree and declare, let heaven open upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. So ye my heaven, open upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Open upon me tonight, decree and declare, let heaven open upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say tonight, so Holy Spirit, have your way in the name of Jesus. Say tonight, so Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to declare and declare? Say, Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, declare and declare. Let the Spirit of the Living God have His way tonight. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Please, uh, please, man, for those of us on Facebook, I uh, will advise us to join the online church. The conference call up praise the lord for those of us on the facebook page i uh, will advise that we come on the online church praise the lord just check the uh, the comment section on that facebook page there is a comment there which i just posted that is the link just click on the link and it will bring you in to the online church once again for those of us on the facebook page i encourage us to join the online church tonight praise the lord once again every one of us let's declare and declare that father say tonight i can hear you say tonight decree again so lord my god say tonight so holy spirit face it me in the name of jesus so holy spirit say face it me tonight in the name of jesus so Holy Spirit, face it me tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare that tonight? So Holy Spirit, face it me in the name of Jesus. Say the Spirit of the living God, face it me tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to declare and declare, let Holy Spirit face it us tonight? So Holy Spirit, face it me tonight. 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 Decree and declare. Say, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Living God, say, Face it me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, face it me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let's declare and declare the Spirit of the Living God to visit us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Can you decree and declare it? Say, Tonight, say, Holy Spirit, face it me. In the name of Jesus. Face it me tonight. 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 Decree and declare. Let the spirit of the living God face it each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now let's begin to play the blood of Jesus upon ourselves, spirit, soul, and body. The blood of Jesus. 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 Let's begin to play the blood of Jesus upon ourselves tonight, spirit, soul, and body. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Say I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself tonight. 
the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, soul, and body. The blood of Jesus. 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 Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself tonight. Upon your spirit, soul, and body. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself tonight. The blood of Jesus upon your spirit, soul, and body. The blood of Jesus. 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 Let's plead the blood of Jesus upon our spirit, soul, and body. The blood, the blood. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself tonight, upon my environment, upon my spirit, soul, and body, upon my environment. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Please, those of us on our online church, can you hear me? Somebody said no audio, and there's signal here. Please, can we make comment? Those of us on the online church, can you hear me? Let's still continue to plead the blood of Jesus upon our spirit, soul, and body. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your spirit, upon your soul, upon your body, upon your environment. The blood of Jesus. 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 Say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my environment tonight. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your environment tonight. The blood of Jesus. Say, I release the blood of Jesus upon my environment this very night. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus upon our environment tonight. Let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus. The Bible said we overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb. That means by the blood of Jesus. So decree and declare it. Say, I decree, I declare, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my environment tonight. The blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus upon my environment tonight. I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I still want every one of us to plead that blood, that precious blood of Jesus. Everybody begin to plead that blood, the blood of Jesus. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus upon my environment tonight. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus upon my environment tonight. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I want us to enter with the blood of Jesus. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I enter with the blood of Jesus. Tonight, the blood of Jesus. 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 Everybody, I want you to pray that prayer very well. Especially those of you who are business owners. Those of you that you are online with us, with us and from your business places. Or those of us that we pick it from our house. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus tonight. The blood of Jesus. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, soul, and body, upon my environment tonight. The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Play the blood of Jesus upon your environment tonight. The blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. 
In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Lord our God, I want to say thank you tonight. I want to say thank you for the past one week. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Father, I want to say thank you for everything that concerns each and every one of us. As we have come tonight, I declare, I declare that Father, heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of mercy, heavens of favor, heavens of lifting, heavens of revelation, heavens of divine encounter. Father, let it open upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Tonight, my Lord, my God, beyond our preparation, beyond our prayer, beyond our thinking, face it, each and every one of us, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, my Lord, my God, beyond what we prepare, beyond what we have in mind, arise in your power, face it, each and every one of us, and at the end, take all glory, take all honor, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us to tonight, Fiji. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. A big thank you to one of us who remind me this, this, this night, this evening. I have my own sand from the office. And see the way I package it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It is, it is not a ritual. It is not a ritual. It is biblical. Tonight we are just going to go into the place of prayer. I have explained reason why we must pray on this sand last week, Friday. So tonight we are just going to pray on them. If you are joining us for the very first time, what we do is biblical, what we do is prayer, and we pray the scripture. Praying on the sand from our office, it is biblical. Because of our time, I won't be going over them again. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if you are joining us for the very first time, just ask for last week audio or the video. The video is there on Facebook, it's also on YouTube. And the audio are on all on our audio uh, podcast uh, platform. You can, Ask for them, we send it to you, send the link so that you go over them. Praise the Lord. And if you don't have the sand, I said during the communal service, if you don't have the sand, you come along with something that represents the work of your hand. My children, please, all of you, go and bring your book, go and bring your notebook, go and bring your pen as a student. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is the work of their hand. Praise the Lord. Once again, you are welcome, every one of us. I welcome every one of us in the name of Jesus. Uh, Mrs. Hassan, please let my baby bring a feeding bottle. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Once again, you are welcome to tonight's vigil in the name of Jesus. We are praying on the land simply means we are taking possession of the land. When you pray on the land, you are taking possession of the land. Sama, briefly, many things have gone ahead of us. Before we enter that land, there are many people who have entered that place before us. They have done many things there. And those things that they have done have changed the configuration, the spiritual configuration of the sand, of the art. I will be using sand and art. Those things that those people have done on that land there have changed the spiritual configuration of the land. The Bible said we should take dominion. The earth should yield an increase for us. So when people entered there 10 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 20 years ago, and they carry sacrifice there, they bury some things there, they did some abominable things there, they worship idols there. Those are abominable things. Those things change the configuration of the land. So you as a Christian, when you are coming in there, if you don't read, if you don't deprogram what the enemy has programmed and now reprogram it, that means the way God said what God wants the earth to do, that the enemy have changed it. You need to change it back, 
then now program the mandate of God for the earth. If not, it is first come, first serve. First come, first serve. What do that mean? It is whosoever program to the earth. I've shared with us that the earth here, half here, the, the earth can hear. The earth, the land that you speak, that you stand upon, the earth can hear world. So whosoever program to the earth is what the earth will listen to. So that is why many of us who are Christian, it's like we are doing business in that our business arena. Those who are unbelievers, they are having upper hand above us. There is nothing new about it. The only difference is this. They program to the art in that environment. And the art supports them. But for us, we are born again. We don't program. We don't speak. So the art will just be looking. But tonight, as we are going to deprogram and reprogram the art, according to the mandate of the Almighty God, be fruitful, subdue, to have dominion, the earth will begin to listen to you in the name of Jesus. I share with us according to Revelation that the earth can help a man. The earth can help a man. And when the earth help a man, it simply means everything in creation will begin to help that man. From today, from today, hear me, sir, hear me, man. The earth where you stand, the earth where I stand, the earth where you do your business, we begin to help you in the name of Jesus. We begin to help you in the name of Jesus. We begin to help you in the name of Jesus. John 8, 3 to 8. Put, if you have, if your soil is in a container, please open it now. Open it because um, we'll be using my hand there, so I will not hold it. Just put it in your front. When it's time for us to begin to pray, you must carry it in your hand. If you have anointing oil, please bring out your anointing oil along with you. If your anointing oil is not where you are, don't worry. But if you can quickly get your anointing oil, please get it. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. John 8, 3 to 8. John 8, 3 to 8. John 8, 3 to 8. John chapter 8, 3 to 8. John chapter 8, 3 to 8. I was teaching somebody about altar yesterday. I was teaching some people about altar yesterday and I asked them a, a, a question. All of them are like, they are about 10 or about 10 of them and like. Uh, mommy favor mommy mommy aguda including you i'm going to ask you the same question who is who is who is crystal glow ventures uh, mrs akindele please all of you you have your own personal business mommy have school mommy aguda you have school in your school do you have a personal altar there erected do you have Mommy, mommy, I'm not talking about the church. I'm not talking about your own personal altar. Do you have it erected in that place? You know, one of the problems of we Christians is this. We overlook some things. Sometimes, um, so that they won't look at me anyhow. But the occultic people, those who are not Christian, they do it, we look at them, we abuse them. And what they are doing, they pick it from the Bible and it's working for them. For you, you want to be how many of you? How many of you have a personal altar in that your business place? If you have a personal altar in that your business place, there's there's going to be there's going to be some some inches there. Because when you are not there, there won't be anything that will fight for you. I'm not talking about altar today, but we just need to quickly remind us and give us some tips. If you don't have, I'm not, yes, I know you pray. When you, the Catholic people, 
if you see anybody who is a Catholic member, you will enter their shop. The first thing you will see is their altar. All right. Uh, Mami Ibiwa, am I right? Sister Yemi, am I right? Somebody say, put something now. Yes, thank you, ma. Yo, Mr. Toba, thank you, sir. When you enter any shop, that shop belongs to a Catholic member. See, you will see they don't hide. They will put it. Uh, Holy Mary, you will see it. You will see it. They don't hide it. Where at the entrance, where people will see it, they don't hide it. They will put it there. You attack them, then you will see the repercussion. Unless you carry fire. Unless you carry fire. There's an altar there that is speaking. I'm not saying that Catholic altar is right or is not right. That is that person's religion. That is what he believes. God will help you. You go to any Muslim shop, any occultic shop. They have altar there. So those who are, who are occultic people, as you are coming into their shop, before you enter their shop, do you know that you walk on their altar? They always erect that altar at the entrance of the shop. Before you enter, you cross over the, the altar. So if you have anything that is contrary to them, as you are walking upon the altar, the altar swallow it up. Oh, known to you. If you are carrying some things, fetish thing in you that is going to arm their business, as you are about to enter, that altar there neutralizes it. So you just enter. As a Christian, you have a godly altar erected, raised unto the living God in that your business. That altar, there are angels there that fight. When you raise an altar unto the living God, there are angels position that fight. So when you don't have, where are the angels to fight for you? The angels want to come and fight for you. But there is no place. Pray the good network. Raising, restoring, and sustaining effective prayer altar. Effective prayer altar. And I always explain it. An altar is a place, a meeting place between humanity and divinity where God will come and have meeting with you, where you have encounter with angel. Do you have it in that your business? If you don't have, that is why each time you pray and you are you go, the enemy will come back again. When you have prayed in that business and you go home, before you come back tomorrow, the enemy will come because they know that there is no altar there. The altar resists the work of darkness. It resists the work of darkness. And it's open for blessing. It attracts blessing. So when there is no altar that you have raised for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. So when you don't have, when you don't have, Catholic people, there are some things about them that I like. I'm not, I don't agree with their principle, but I just like some things about them. One of them is that altar. Even in their house, if you enter any Catholic house, in their city room like this, you will see TV, you will see the exalted altar. They don't joke with it. <laughs> please, I don't want to talk about altar. I just want to enlighten us. Please, sir, please, man. It is good. It is good. I'm not saying you now put Bible, put, uh, and do something that is all, uh, that, 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 that indicates a cortic. <laughs> No, no, no. The Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Once again, you are welcome to tonight, Fiji, in the name of Jesus. I don't know why I have to jump to that one. It's not in my notes. John 8, 3 to 8. John 8, 3 to 8. John chapter 8, verse 3 to verse 8. And the scribe and the Pharisee brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when he has set her in the midst, they say unto him, they are talking unto Jesus, Master, this woman was taken in adultery. In the very earth we cut her. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what thou said? The law of Moses was written on the earth. The stone. Earth. Was written. God wrote it for us. Moses again wrote with his hand. On the, please know this. God wrote the law first. When Moses broke it, God now asked Moses to write again 
So Moses used his hand to write on the heart, a calf heart, a calf stone. So they present it unto Jesus. This is what has happened in the law of Moses. What is the law of Moses? What Moses have written down on earth. Please get it right. In the law of Moses, what is that law of Moses? The law of Moses is what Moses have written down. And where did he wrote it? He wrote it on the earth, on a stone. Remember the scripture I gave us last week? Oh, art, oh, art, oh, art. Write this man down. So the art can write something down. So let's continue. Now Moses in the law commanded us that soil should be stoned. So what are you saying now? Now let's look at what now happened. This they said, tempting him that he may have, that they may have to accuse him. But Jesus stopped down and his finger wrote on the ground as though he had them not. If you have said anything, they won't obey him. They will use it against him. The law of Moses was what Moses wrote on the ground. So when they now asked Jesus, what was you, what is your and instead of him to reply, the Bible said he bent down and he was he used his finger to write on the earth again. The law of Moses was written on the earth. So they were not presenting it unto him. And uh, the only way they were waiting for his answer, but for him to answer, he first of all go back to the art and he wrote. The Bible said it was his finger to write some things on the art, and as if he did not hear them. Verse 7. So when they continue asking him, he lift up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone. And again, he sat down and he wrote on the ground. The law of Moses was written on the ground, a calf out stone. So when they were asking him, the Bible said, before he answered them, he took his finger and he wrote on the ground. What was he writing? Number one, after he wrote, he said, he that have not done this thing, let him cast the first stone. An addition. He didn't say, don't cast it. He didn't say cast it. He didn't say, he said, he that have. So I agree, it is true. Moses have said it, it is true. But I'm adding my own to it. But before he said it, he wrote it on the ground. He wrote it on the ground. And after that one, he rise up again. He now answered them. Yes, it is so. Whosoever that is called must be stoned, but whosoever that have never done this cast the stone, the first stone, and he went back again. If Jesus Christ have not written it on the earth, those men will not honor him. You know why? Those men were created from the earth. So the first thing Jesus did was to cancel, to make amendment on the earth. And revelation, the heart helped the woman. The heart helped the woman. Men that were standing, that were laying allegation against this woman, they were created from the earth. So Jesus Christ have to adjust it from the original manuscript. What was written on the earth had dead his own to it. And after that, he said, Cast the first stone. But because that, that is his own written has been done on the earth. And the art have to help the woman. The art accepted what Jesus Christ have written. And those people are created from the art. So when their mother agree with what Jesus Christ have wrote, so every other children, what will they do? So every other men that were created from the art, because the mother art accepted the written of Jesus Christ, they themselves, they have no way, they have no option. They just turn back and they left. Today, Every one of you that you are listening to me, whatever has been written on the earth, whatever grave image, whatever bitter and writing that anyone has written on the earth that is working against you, that is working against where you establish your business, anything that anyone has programmed to the earth that has been working against you, every law of the land, 
every law of the first uh, settlers on that environment that is working against your business, against your career, by the blood of Jesus. Heaven rewrite it in the name of Jesus. The Lord rewrite it. 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 In the name of Jesus. He bent down and he wrote it. And he now gave them. And what else? And what happened next? They all agree. They all obey. I decree, I declare again upon someone, if you can say a louder amen. Whatever has been written against you, whatever has been written, whatever decree on the earth that has been written that is working against you, today, 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 in the name of Jesus, heaven cancel it in the name of Jesus. Heaven cancel it. Heaven cancel it. Heaven cancel it. Every bitter and writing. Every bitter and writing. Every bitter and writing. Every bitter and writing. Every bitter and writing that is against you, I decree, I declare that tonight in the name of Jesus, the Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it. 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 Everything that has been written that is working against you, against your life, against your marriage, against your business, against your career, I decree, I declare. In the name of Jesus, let it be cancelled. 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 In the name of Jesus, say it is cancelled. I can't hear you. Say it is cancelled. Can you declare and declare? Say in the name of Jesus. Say that bitter and writing. Say it's cancelled. Can you say it again? Say in the name of Jesus. Say every bitter and writing that is against me, that is against my life, that is against my marriage. Say it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Say it is cancelled. Say every bitter and writing against me, against my life, against my marriage, against my business, against my career. Say it is cancelled. Can you say it one more time? Say every bitter and writing against my life against my marriage, against my business, against my career. Say it is cancelled. I can't hear you. Can you decree again? Say it is cancelled. 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 Say it loud and clear. Say in the name of Jesus. Say every bitter and writing that is against me, that is against my life, that is against my marriage, that is against my business, that is against my career. Say it is cancelled. In the name of Jesus, can you decree one more time? Say in the name of Jesus, say every bitter and writing against my life, against my marriage, against my business, against my career. Say it is cancelled. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare one more time? Say in the name of Jesus, say every bitter and writing against my life, against my marriage, against my business against my career, say it is cancelled. I can't hear you. Say it is cancelled. Say it is cancelled. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. In the time past, some people may have buried some things on the land where you are or where you are doing business right now. Some people may have spoken some things over the land. Some people may have burnt some incense there. All this thing bring pollution upon the place. All this thing bring pollution upon the place. Praise the Lord. I repeat again. In the time pass, in the time pass, where you are right now, where you are doing your business right now, some people may have buried some things there. Some people may have spoken some things there. Some people may have born some incest. Some people may have even spoken some things there. Praise the Lord. All these things, bring pollution upon the land but i decree i declare tonight whatever they have done upon that land where you are whatever they have done whatever the enemy have done that have brought pollution upon that land tonight in the name of jesus heaven cancel it in the name of jesus the lord cancel it the lord cancel it the lord cancel it the lord cancel it 
The Lord cancel it. 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 I decree, I declare, every bitter and writing, 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 every negative things that the enemy have written on the land or that any negative thing that they may have carried out on the land and that thing is now working against you, against your marriage, against your business, against your career, I decree, I declare by the blood of Jesus, let those things be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every one of us, can you carry your son, your son in your hand? Please hold it for me. Good. Just hold it as we pray. Please carry your son on your hand. Carry it on your hand. Or I should carry it myself. Somebody say, carry it yourself. Okay. <laughs> Praise it alone. Carry that son in your hand. If you are not, if you are, especially if you are a business owner, carry the son of that place in your hand. Psalm 24, everybody open Psalm 24. We are going to read everything together. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Open Psalm 24, please. Anything, I decree again, anything done on that land where you are doing business, anything buried there, anything spoken there, anything burnt, anything sprinkled, that is working against your progress, that is working against your business, working against your progress. Tonight, the Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. Those that first settle in that environment, those that first settle in that environment, whatever they have done, over that land, whatever they have done, whatever decree, whatever covenant they enter into and is working against you, tonight the Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. Are you there? Psalm 24. Ten verses, we read everything together. Hope you have that material in your hand. Praise it, the Lord. One, two, go. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon his flood. Who shall ascend unto the east of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has a clean hand and a poor heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Lift up your hand. That's in your hand. Don't drop it till we finish prayer. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus. See every covenant on the land. If you don't have it with you, just begin to pray the prayer. If you are walking, you are not just begin to pray the prayer. Praise the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus. Say every covenant upon the land. Say every generational covenant. Upon the land where I walk, say tonight, say break in the name of Jesus, say by the blood of Jesus, say any covenant upon the land where I walk, where I live, where I carry out my business, say tonight, by the blood of Jesus, you that covenant that did not favor me, that did not suit me, that did not promote me, say break by the blood of Jesus, break by the blood of Jesus, break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. 
break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. See every generation of causes upon the land where I walk, where I carry out my business. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say you that causes. Say break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Can you say loud and clear? Say in the name of Jesus. Say I destroy every evil spell upon the land, upon the earth, where I walk, where I have my business. Say every evil spell. Say I destroy them by the blood of Jesus. Say every power of delay. Every power of delay. Every power of stagnation. Every power of sweat and struggle. Every power of hardship upon the land where I walk. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say tonight. Say break by fire. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say the land. I'm praying a general prayer, but those of you who have the sand in your hand, lay, as you carry it to your hand, you say, this land, this land, when I say the land, I want those everybody to pray it, praise it Lord. But those of you that you have the material in your hand, you say, this land, you are addressing the land, because you are still going to make use of that land. Are you ready now? Say in the name of Jesus, say by the blood of Jesus, say the land, where I carry out my business, where I work, say I redeem you, from corruption, from pollution, from contamination, by the blood of Jesus. Say you this land. Say by the blood of Jesus. You are redeemed from pollution, from contamination, from, from barrenness, from sweat and struggle. Say you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Say you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Say you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Say you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Say this land. This land, where I walk, where I have my business, say I redeem you from the hold of Satan. Say I redeem you from the hold of manipulation. Say I redeem you from the hold of setback, sweat and struggle, barrenness, hardship. Say I redeem you in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus, say every cause of hardship, of barrenness, of sweat and struggle, Say, I redeem this land by the blood of Jesus. Say, my land, my land, where I carry out business, where I have business. Say, you are redeemed. Say, you are redeemed. You are redeemed. You are redeemed. Say, by the blood of Jesus. Say, this land. Say, this land and everything upon it, including my business. So, you are redeemed from setback from limitation say this land where i carry out my business say you are redeemed by the blood of jesus i can't hear you again i want you to say it say this land where i carry out my business where i establish my business and my business and everything therein say you are redeemed by the blood of jesus from hardship from sweat and struggle, from labor without resort, say you are redeemed. Say my, my business, established on this land, say you are redeemed from corruption, from delay, from setback, from lack, from limitation, from insufficient, say you are redeemed. Say my business, measure the name of your business, Brandy Goods Network, from established on this land, you are redeemed from corruption, from manipulation. What are those issues that is going on in your business there? Begin to mention it. Say, pray in the goods network. You are redeemed from every corruption, every pollution, every lack, every limitation, every backwardness, every sweat and struggle upon this land. Pray in the goods network. You are redeemed. 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 Say by the blood of Jesus. Say I revoke every satanic legal right. I can't hear you. Say by the blood of Jesus. 
say I revoke every satanic legal right over this land where I establish my business. Say I revoke it by the blood of Jesus. Can you say it again? Say by the blood of Jesus, I revoke every satanic legal right over the land where I establish my business. So over this art, where I carry out my business, say satanic legal right, say you are revoked in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus, every satanic legal right over the art, over this art, that is working against my progress, that is working against my business, say broke tonight, say break tonight, break tonight, can you take it again? Say satanic legal right over this art where I carry out my business. Say satanic legal right over the art where I establish my business. That is working against me. That is working against my business. Pray the good network. That is working against my progress. That is working against my establishment. Say tonight. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say break. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. We are speaking to that heart. We are speaking to that. So lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say according to Psalm 130, verse 20. Say according to Psalm 130, verse 20. Say I summon all angels of enforcement. Say I summon all the angels of enforcement. That enforce the will of God upon the earth. Say I summon them tonight. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I call forth the 24 elders that surround the throne of God. Say I call them forth tonight. Say tonight. Say I summon the heaven and the heavenlies. Say I summon the earth and everything on it. Say I summon the earth and everything therein. Say, I summon them tonight. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, let this, all these creatures, say, all these beings, say, let them bear witness that this land, that this earth is redeemed from the hand of Satan. That this land, that this earth, where I carry out my business, is redeemed from the hand of Satan, from the manipulation of Satan. By the blood of Jesus. Say, therefore, therefore, say tonight, the legal right of Satan over this earth is revoked by the blood of Jesus. Say, O ye heaven, say, O ye angels, say, O ye elders, say everything on the earth, everything inside the earth, say, be a witness that from tonight, the legal right of Satan to torment my business, to harass my business, to limit my business, to dictate on my business over this earth is cancelled, is revoked in the name of Jesus. Say, therefore, say tonight, say by the blood of Jesus, say I speak to the earth, O ye earth, O ye earth, O ye earth, say from tonight, you will begin to hear me. You will begin to hear me. You will begin to obey me. You will begin to respect me. You will begin to honor me in the name of Jesus. Say tonight, say I appear before the throne of God with the blood of Jesus. Say and I confess every sin of myself, of my forefathers, of those that have walked on this land. Of those that have stepped on this land, say every sin that brought pollution upon the earth. And as a result, my work, my business is being attacked. Say I repent of those sins. Say I bring repentance before the Almighty God. Say whatever we have done on the earth, every covenant, every causes, every enchantment, any altar, say anything we have done upon the earth that brought pollution, say I bring repentance before the Almighty God tonight. 
See every cause, every covenant, every sacrifice, every blood, every oath made upon the earth. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say they are there by revoke. Say they are by revoke. Say in the name of Jesus. Say tonight. Say all ye art. Say all ye art. All ye art. It is written in Psalm 24, verse 1, that this art is of the Lord and the world and everything that dwells therein. Can you say it again? Say according to Psalm 24, verse 1. Say it is written that this art is of the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world, and everything, everything thereof. Say it is written in Psalm 115, verse 16. It is written in Psalm 115, verse 16, that the heaven belong to God, but this art, but this art, but this art, he has given to the children of men, including me. Say, I have for, I hereby come tonight to reclaim my mandate, the mandate that God has given me over the earth to subdue it. Say, I have come tonight to reclaim that mandate. Say from tonight, say I receive, say I take back my mandate to subdue the earth, to subdue the earth. Say I claim that mandate. Say I claim the mandate to be fruitful upon the earth. Say I receive that mandate back in the name of Jesus. Say tonight, say my inheritance, say my inheritance, the earth. Say I have come to reclaim it. Say, therefore, by the blood of Jesus, I take back my inheritance. I take back my inheritance. I take back my inheritance in the name of Jesus. Say, by the blood of Jesus, say my blessing upon the earth, inside the earth. Say, I receive them. Say, I take them. Say, I receive them. Say, I take them. Say, I speak to the earth from tonight. The heart will begin to yield an increase. The art, say you this art, from tonight, you will begin to yield your increase for me, for my business, in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, say ye art, you will begin to profit my business, my undertake, my ventures, in the name of Jesus. Say from this art, say the art, we begin to be fruitful. So ye art from tonight, you will be fruitful unto me, unto my business, in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, so ye art, you will be fruitful unto me, unto my business, in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, say all ye art, you will be fruitful unto me, unto my business. In the name of Jesus, say from tonight, say I speak, I decree, I legislate upon the earth that the earth from tonight will be fruitful unto me. In the name of Jesus, say whatever I do on the earth from this time henceforth shall be unto progress. In the name of Jesus, say the earth will begin to bring our fruitfulness, our increase unto me. Say the art will begin to help me, will help my business, help my career in the name of Jesus. Say whatever I plant, whatever I plant shall not be swallowed. Say whatever I plant on the earth, that your business, when you establish it, you are planting it. Say whatever I plant, say any business, any investment that I plant inside the earth, shall be fruitful we yield an increase in the name of jesus say from this time henceforth say my leg will not sleep say my hand will not falter say from this time say the art will not work against me will not work against my business will not work against my career will not work against me will not work against my business will not work against my career 
Say from tonight, say the art from tonight, begin to yield your increase in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh, ye art, send you all my blessing that you have swallowed before this time. Say, begin to formit them. Say, my breakthrough, my business breakthrough that you have swallowed. Say, begin to formit them. I can't hear you. Say, my business breakthrough. My profit, my increase that you have swallowed, say begin to forme them. 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 Say every blessing, every good thing that belongs to me inside the heart. Say all oh, ye heart, begin to forme them. 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 Say all oh, ye heart. Where I establish my business, you will complain with me for increase, for enlargement, for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh, ye art, where I establish my business, say from tonight, you will complain with me in the name of Jesus for increase, for enlargement in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, I can't hear you. Say from tonight. Say according to Genesis 1, 28. I can't hear you. Say from tonight, according to Genesis 1, 28. Say upon this earth, say myself, my business, my career. Say we are blessed. Say from tonight, the work of my hand. Say we shall be fruitful. We shall multiply. Say we shall replenish the earth. Say from tonight, say I subdue the art. I can hear you say I subdue the art. Say from tonight, I receive dominion over everything upon the art, everything above the art, everything inside the art. Say I take dominion over them in the name of Jesus. Can you take it again? Say from tonight, say by the blood of Jesus, say I am blessed. Say upon this art. Where I establish my business, say I am blessed in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, say upon this earth where I do business, say I shall be fruitful. My business shall be fruitful. My career shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say upon this earth where I do my business, say the Lord will multiply me. The Lord will multiply my business. He will multiply my career. Say the Lord will replenish me in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, say I subdue this earth. Say I subdue this earth. According to Genesis 1 verse 28, say I subdue this earth. Say from tonight, say I gain dominion. I receive dominion over the earth. Over everything on the earth. Over everything above the earth. Over everything inside the earth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Before I take the last session, which we just take for two minutes, every one of you, you know the name of that place where you picked that sand from. Am I right? You know the name of that environment? So begin to, you mention it, not at now, you mention that environment. This environment where I establish my business from this time henceforth, my business shall begin to progress. My business begin to enlarge in the name of Jesus. You mentioned that environment, that this environment you will cooperate with my business in the name of Jesus. Say, it's a new day for my business in this environment. Can we begin to decree and declare upon your environment where you do business? Mention it. Mention that environment. For those of you who are online people, there's a place where you operate from. I'm online right now, but I'm operating from somewhere. Am I right? So that is where your office is. Praise the Lord. So mention that environment. Say from tonight. Say from tonight. In this environment, the Lord will increase me. The Lord will enlarge me. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase me. The Lord will enlarge me. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase me. The Lord will enlarge me in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase me in this environment. Mention the environment. 
Mami. Mami Aguda, where is the name? What is the name of our the environment where we have our school? Mention that environment. Say in this environment, I begin to have dominion in the name of Jesus. One minute more. I want you to now pass and pray, mention it. That environment where you have your business. In this environment, say I begin to have dominion from tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now you have the anointing oil. Anoint that sand. Anoint it. If you don't have anointing oil, don't worry. Just wait. I will tell you what to do next. Have you anointed it? Open your oil. Anoint the sand. You have anointing oil. Anoint it. I want you to anoint it before I proclaim on it. Anoint the sand. Thank you, Jesus. You have done that. So put the oil down now. Now everybody hold it in your hand. If you don't have anointing oil, just, just, I just want you to be saying amen. Upon the earth in your hand that represents where you carry out your business, where you have your business. For those of you who are doing business at home, upon that sand, the earth that represents that environment where you do your business. Anointing to be fruitful. Anointing of ease. Anointing for you to have dominion upon the earth. Receive it tonight in the name of Jesus. By the anointing that breaks yoke that has come upon that sand in your hand. Anointing that break yoke that have just come upon that sand in your hand. Every yoke of sweat and struggle. Every yoke of hardship. Every yoke of sweat and struggle. Every yoke of hardship upon that land. Heaven break it tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord break it. The Lord break it. The Lord break it. The Lord break it. That yoke of sweat and struggle. That yoke of limitation. That yoke of hardship. The Lord break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been done on the earth 1,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, whatever has been done to that building where you are doing your business before you enter, and that thing is crying, this place must be empty, this place must be empty, this place must be empty, and it's affecting your growth, the growth of that your business. I decree, I declare, by the anointing, that have just come upon that sand, that earth, that yoke upon the earth is broken in the name of Jesus. That house where you live, that you are carrying out your business there, everything in the heavenlies, everything in the roof, everything in the heavenlies, everything above you that limits your progress, the Lord break it in the name of Jesus. I speak to that earth. Let the heart receive anointing to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Anointing for increase, O heart, receive it in the name of Jesus. Anointing for that heart to begin to multiply your business, to increase, to expand your business, let it receive it in the name of Jesus. Every, every mark of limitation, every mark of limitation that they have channeled, that they have caught on the ground, that your business must not go spiritually beyond this place. Tonight, that mark, ever cancel it in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that you are having health issue, and I say because of that health issue, your business is not moving well. You are not able to do any tangible thing. And that, that health issue started from manipulation on that witchcraft altar. That altar was made from the earth. The altar, that witchcraft altar, where they are regulating your health, was made from the earth. I speak to that art that they used to make that altar. Let it scatter in the name of Jesus. Let our art begin to work against them in the name of Jesus. Every art, every art that is receiving sacrifice, that is receiving blood, that is receiving water, that is receiving chalk, that is receiving token, in order to work against you, 
Tonight, let the earth begin to reject them in the name of Jesus. From tonight, the earth will begin to work for you. It will no longer work against you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. Every one of you who have a landed property, you have planned for it, but where you are and that plan is so, so far. I decree, I declare, rain of abundance, rain of abundance, rain of abundance, rain of air. Let it come upon that land in the name of Jesus. Let the hearts receive help for speedy completion of that project in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Every one of you that people are hoeing, I pray for you tonight. The light of God shine upon those who are hoeing you. The Lord bless them. And the Lord touch their heart to pay you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Ah. Everyone who have, what do you call it? Building. You have a building. You have a building. You have a building. I'm still building. Lock. Lock. Is it lock up? There's nothing inside it. If you have a property, yes, property. You have a property that's building, being locked. You have a property, nothing is working. No tenant is there. Nothing. I pray the hand of the Almighty God open that building up in the name of Jesus. You want to sell it, the Lord will bring good customer in the name of Jesus. You want to rent it out, I decree, I declare, the Lord will bring a good uh, tenant, a good um, whosoever that will enter and will favor you, that will use that property right, the Lord will bring them in the name of Jesus. Every embargo on every one of you is lifted in the name of Jesus. Any one of you I'm seeing bubbling of water. Any one of you that they have gone into water, into the water, and uh, they have sealed your matter up in that water, lift up your hand. I bring in the blood of Jesus upon that water. I pollute that water. The water kingdom where your matter has been settled and they finalized it, that water. I bring in the blood of Jesus upon them in the name of Jesus. Every decree, every declaration in that water coven, the Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. You that person, you will bounce back. You will bounce back. You will bounce back. They are, they are glory, they are see glory in you. They thought that they have cut you down. They thought that they have cut you down. But I'm seeing the glory in you will come out in the name of Jesus. I speak into your life, sir. I speak into your life, man. You that person. Every darkness upon you, let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Every darkness upon the work of your hand, let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Any one of you on this platform, right now, every one of you, that you are online, either on Facebook or on the, the online church, that you are being monitored by witchcraft agent. I decree, I declare, in the name of Jesus, every power monitoring your movement, monitoring your sources, monitoring your movement in life, let them go blind in the name of Jesus. Every eyes monitoring your movement, let those eyes go blind in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Almighty God, Rest upon every one of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Therefore, declare, declare this art where you establish your business. We declare it open for business ventures in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. From this time henceforth, it shall be from one glory to another in the name of Jesus. No more manipulation on that land. No more attack on that land. No more set, no more setback on that land. In the name of Jesus. Negative vision. Negative dream. The Lord cancel it and his effect on that land in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. We give you praise. We give you honor. As many of you that you need to relocate to another end, to another place, the Lord move you forward in the name of Jesus. 
The Lord move you forward in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a bakery. Who is having bakery? You are having bakery or you are to establish bakery. I'm seeing a bakery. Bakery, where they bake bread. You are you have a bakery or you want to you are going to have bakery. You have a bakery, you are going to have bakery, or you want to establish bakery. I speak into you in the name of Jesus. That land where you are going to establish it, we work for you in the name of Jesus. We work for you in the name of Jesus. We work for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will establish it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Before you go, that sand, what you are going to do in the morning or next time you go back to that office, where you pick the sand from, you go and drop it back. I know many of us who are watching from the house. Don't go and pour it in that house. If you pick it from your business place. Are you hearing me? Like this one in my hand now. I brought it from the office. So when next I'm going to the office, I have to take it back and pour it in the office. But if you pick your own from that, your compound, you can go and drop it in that your compound. But if you it's not from that compound, take the sand back to where you pick it from. And go and pour it there. Praise the Lord. As you pour it there, you will see the wonders of God in the name of Jesus. I say, as you go back, as you pour it there, you begin to see the wonders of God in the name of Jesus. Even right from this night, right from this night, there shall be some strange occurrence in the name of Jesus. I I was in a, in a vigil like this one time for, for land breaking. The church was growing and suddenly it stopped growing and uh, they were set back from over 200 crash below 50. And uh, as we are rounding up now like this, we are not the land, the church, we are praying it. Every prayer we pray on the sand and we are praying it in that church there. And before you know, you just hear a cracking sand, crack, 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 a cracking sand, not in dream. I still remember the church. This time I see the pastors on Facebook. I always, I always smile and give God the glory. Just hear a cracking sound. And uh, you know from different angles. And uh, the circle where the cracking like like a spider web. The center. One of the pastors said, if, if there's a form, if this is just form a circle, um, half a middle, let them dig the middle. In the morning, some of us coming back, we have to stay back. They have to call all these Malan people to dig. They begin to dig and dig and dig and dig. And uh, after some time, they begin to, they brought out some things from that place. That church, the man built the church over, we are not talking about 15 years, 15, over 15 years. Over, he has been there more than 10 years before he built it. And he built that church, we are not talking about 15 years, an elderly person. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. How come before he bought it, while he was still using it, and when he brought it, and he was building, and they were digging, doing the foundation, and their digger did not even go to that place. Those things have been buried before the man even ever come to that environment. So he come to a time, those things that were buried in that land, over some only God knows how many years we are now speaking, working against the church. And they brought it out. They burned them. And that was it. I believe God. There is liberation upon that land where you are doing business in the name of Jesus. Every one of you, as you go back, today is Friday, uh, Saturday now. By Monday, as you resume back from the, to that business, it's a new day in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Every one of us, let's lift up our hands. The Lord bless us as we go into this weekend. It shall be a great weekend to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. For every one of you whom God is using to partner with us with your seed, with your time, with your offering, may the Lord God bless you in the name of Jesus. May God increase you. It's a new day for your business. It's a new day for your business. It's a new day for your career in the name of Jesus. If you have been blessed tonight, especially those who are business people, if you have been blessed, it is good. After a program like this you give not offering there's one between offering and seed there's one between offering and seed it is good to give a seed for this particular prayer 
that Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Till we come, the children prayer meeting, 5 p.m. on Zoom, 8 p.m. Uh, the whole um, family. And tomorrow, Sunday service, we come again. Let's go forth and let the art in your hand that represents where you are working, let it begin to cooperate with you and bring you abundant resources. Let it begin to yield fruitful, yield thousands reward for you and for your work in the name of Jesus. And for those of us who are career people, that office, as you resume back to that office, let that environment, the art there, let it begin to cooperate with you for promotion. Whatever people are saying, whatever they have done that is against you, let the art begin to work against those things in the name of Jesus. Once again, good morning, sir. Good morning, man. The Lord bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin please say this prayer after me lord jesus i believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that i might be free from sin right now i confess you as my lord and personal savior forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood make me your child and write my name in the book of life thank you jesus for saving me sin and satan has no more power over my life in jesus mighty name it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.